Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be do, doing CAD challenge number 25. And let's just go right over to the CAD challenge and take a look. So it's design a regular octahedron with an edge length of 10 millimeters. You can only use two sketches and two 3D features. And then if you get it right, post that. Let's look at the regular octahedron so you know what it is. Eight sides, basically. And you see that right there. Um, so you can, you can use either of those. And with that, let's get started making our drawing. So let's first do an overview of what we're going to do. So if you're looking to do this on your own, you should pause this and do your work and then come back and check it out. But basically our solution is two sketches and our two 3D features, a mirror and a polar pattern. So our sketches are a basic triangle with a 10 millimeter hypotenuse and two equal sides. Um, and then those sketches are lofted. You can see that that's the loft there. And then that loft is, is transformed first by a mirror. I don't know if I can show only that, no. First by a mirror, uh, which mirrors it from here to here. And then by a polar pattern, which copies it around the x-axis. Now we'll walk through creating this one, uh, one step at a time. So we'll create a new document. We'll add a part, a body, and a sketch. The first sketch will be on the xy plane. And we'll use the polygon tool to create a triangle. Now you could also use uh, the regular polygon tool and we'll have to re delete the redundant, select and delete the redundant constraints. And then we'll have to set a length and that's gonna be 10. And then set these two sides to be equal because we're dealing with, a reg with all regulars. So that's our first sketch. Now we'll have to create our second sketch. Our second sketch will be on uh, the, let's see, the YZ plane. And will be also a triangle created by regular polygons. Remove the redundant constraints. And set the hypotenuse length to 10 and set each side and set these to equal. So now we have the foundation of our shape and now we're going to create a, a, a loft. To create a loft, I'm going to select the first sketch. First sketch. I'm going to use the loft tool. It hides the first sketch. And I'm going to add a section to the loft. And you see the loft is successfully created, so I click OK. And the next step we're going to do is a multi-transform to create first a mirror of the sketch and then a polar pattern around the z-axis. So with my additive loft selected, I select the multi-transform tool and I right click to add a mirrored transformation. And after a few seconds, you see my transformation has succeeded and I'm up to one, one quarter of my final shape. The next step is we're gonna add a polar pattern and then that polar pattern is gonna uh, rotate around the x-axis. So I right click here to add a polar pattern and my computer takes a few seconds and you'll see it updated when you see the polar pattern appear here. And right after I pause the video, the polar pattern appeared and you'll see that we need more than, more than one, um, more than two occurrences, we need four. And also once I hit, so first I'll update it to three and wait for my computer to catch up and you'll see that we're around the wrong axis. It's gonna rotate it around this axis and give us an odd result. And I'm gonna pause for a second. So now you'll see the odd result we got because it's around the wrong axis. So I'm gonna change this to the horizontal sketch axis. Now you can see we're on the right track that they're rotating around the right direction, but we need one more additional occurrence. So I'm gonna change this to four and you'll see when my computer catches up, we'll have our final object. So my computer has caught up. It only really took like 10 seconds, which, uh, yeah, I need a new one, don't tell me. But that's our final object. We have our, four, our regular eight-sided uh, polyhe polyhedron. Am I saying that right? Um, so I can close this. And again, wait for my very slow computer. And we'll be, we'll, we'll be finished. 
So there you see our regular polyhedron, and I'll show you it. I'll show you it again, the original one that shows um, the two sketches and then the two, uh, I, two, th uh, two 3D features. And I think that completely complies with the CAD challenge. I do want to uh, mention that before you start using the multi-transform, know that this is buggy. Um, I, I had three or four failures trying to do this along the way before I had this success. So I hope you like this video. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. I do CAD challenges. I do um, compare, you know, lighthearted comparisons of CAD videos, and also OpenSCAD and some other things. So subscribe and like my videos, and have a great.